your first alert forecast with meteorologist Laura Hartman, only on Fox 47 News at 10. Well, I know this afternoon's rain caused a headache for a lot of people, for drivers yeah. with the flooded roads and some poor people still don't have their power. But if there is a silver lining here, I worked really hard to find it. <laughs> no humidity, right? Like at exactly. least at least it's finally going down. It's not oppressive desert like temperature. <laughs> <laughs> not quite as bad as what it was. But man, we really needed some relief. We have had some very uncomfortable days. Last night was a nightmare to try and sleep through, especially if you didn't want to use your air conditioner mm, or don't like have us. It. Or yeah, don't great. Have it. Let's take a look at those dew point numbers. They're not as far down as what we'd like to see, but they are making their way toward lower numbers. And you can see off to the far northwest that green shade. Those are drier uh, air represented in this dew point. So we're going to see those uh, greener shades working their way down. 50s, those are the numbers we're looking forward to. Still a few locations in the 60s. It just means that we're still feeling that humidity outside. Not quite as obvious, though, with the cooler temperatures than what we've seen in the past couple of days. Satellite and radar, we have the clouds moving on out. Just a few very light sprinkles around, but otherwise we're very quiet for tonight. High temperatures earlier on today were in the mid and even upper 80s. Look how close to 90. Ann Arbor actually did make it to 90, 89 in Adrian and up to uh, 84 in Howell, 86 in Lansing. So even though the temperatures made it up that far, well, they're not going to tomorrow. Things are going to be changing and we're starting tonight with temperatures still in the 70s in many locations, including Lansing, 69 in Mason and Jackson, 68 in Ionia. They're dropping all the way down to the low 60s, about 10 degrees different from last night. So things are going to be much more comfortable as we continue on into tonight and even the nights up ahead. This model has a dropping all the way down to the mid 50s. We won't make it quite that low, but we will see temperatures right around the 60 degree mark, even into the upper 50s for lows. And then we rise all the way up to those mid and upper 70s for Wednesday afternoon with a lot of sunshine too. Back down into this time the low 50s, maybe even a couple 40 degree readings for Thursday morning. So very comfortable night to sleep in and we'll see those temperatures rising on Thursday afternoon into the mid 70s and then we're picking things up from there. So if you're going to miss the 80s once they're gone the next couple of days, well, you're getting them back by Friday, Saturday too. Sunday will be right around the 80 degree mark as well. With those cooler temperatures that we're going to see the next two days comes some sunshine. I know you probably missed it. We're going to see uh, that nice comfortable sunshine starting off tomorrow. You see a few clouds on here, but we'll see sunshine too. And especially as the day continues and high pressure moves its way in, we're going to end the day with a lot of sunshine and Thursday starting off that way too. We'll see a few clouds filtering in, especially high clouds Thursday afternoon just ahead of our next system and that comes on Friday. So we could see early signs of rain coming into Thursday night and Friday morning and most of that will be during the daytime. 59 for tonight and clearing skies. Very comfortable night ahead. You don't need to worry about any rain showers for tonight or tomorrow. 79 degrees for our high, partly cloudy and a very nice day. And I think we deserve it after the past couple of days. Thursday we'll get almost a repeat just a touch cooler and Friday, Saturday, even though we're warmer, we're dealing with the rain showers through the day. Not constant, but on and off and we'll finally get rid of those showers by the time we get to Sunday with just a couple light showers around. Monday looks to be our one safe bet and a nice dry day, 82 degrees, so very comfortable for Labor Day. And that's a good thing because it's back to work, back to school with the rain showers that are moving in on Tuesday. So we've got a nice forecast coming up, a little bit of everything for everybody. But right. Really important to enjoy the next two days if you've been struggling <laughs> over the past two days. <laughs> you don't have to remind me <laughs> twice with that one. I got that covered. All right, Laura, thank you. <laughs>